it's Ann from the Useless Crafter. Okay, so I got a last minute request. Let's see, today is Monday, the last week of the year, and this awesome kindergarten teacher is throwing a birthday party for her daughter this Saturday. <laughs> so she reached out to me and I'm doing a last minute request. So definitely you guys, if you have a project or if you have a question and you just don't know how to approach it, just reach out to me. I may not always be super available, but I try to answer every single request. Um, and I'll let you know, you know, or at least I can walk you through it. But in this case, I thought this was such a cute project. I wanted to do it anyway. So she's doing a troll's birthday party. And so she already did Poppy and Branch, like off the mat, like the off the mat characters you see behind me. Um, but she wanted these to be hanging. They're, they're like trolls ornaments. I mean, it's so stinking cute. Um, I tried, you know, because I don't really like to create my own SVG files because I suck at it and it would take me forever. Um, but I didn't see anything on Etsy. And I started looking at this and it looks like shapes that we can easily replicate. So this is the screenshot that she sent me. So I brought it in here so that I could have a visual of what I want to create. But these kind of look like um, strawberries to me, maybe like an eggplant. So I feel like I can make these shapes and then we can do some cutouts and kind of recreate them. They won't be exactly like this. I'm gonna try my best, but I think we can do it. So let's try. Okay, so first up is, let's go into images because I do have access. And so, uh, let's see here. Let's search for a strawberry because I feel like it does look like a strawberry. And I kind of just want the general shape, right? So like this looks actually pretty good to me and maybe this one. Okay, so we're gonna insert those and that's, that's the shape that I'm going for. I've also done Poppy before, so let's just move these over for now and let's see if I can find my Poppy. Hopefully I named it properly when I imported <laughs> the file, which I don't always do. Um, you know what, let's go to ownership and it would be uploaded because, yep, okay, perfect. So I do have, so this one's a good one because it kind of has that shape. Um, so let's do that. And perfect, it is an SVG file. So all we really want though, is let's ungroup this for a second. I really just want this kind of top. Um, so I'm gonna save or actually maybe I'll save the black. Okay, let's get rid of all these things. So not to clutter up our screen, okay? So here's our fruit top, kind of like that. And I think that looks good. Um, okay, so we've got our strawberry shape, which I feel like this one looks really like this, right? This one just looks like it's a shorter, fatter version. So we can definitely do that. I'm gonna get rid of, well, I guess we can keep it. There's no harm in keeping it. Now we only need this, um, kind of shape, which, uh, I, f I don't know, what shape is that? I'm gonna see if it, if they have a general eggplant one, but I don't want the curve, right? I kind of want like, uh, I don't know what shape that is. Uh, no eggplant, oh wait, I don't have any uploaded, okay. Come on, work with me, nothing, okay. Um, I don't know what other shape that would be that would be close to that. So let's try to recreate it with a circle. Okay, so let's do this. Um, yeah, I feel like a circle would be our best bet. I mean, what else is in that shape? I've, I'm so annoyed with myself. Okay, let's unlock this shape and sort of try to warp it so it kind of is, let's see, that to me is like the top, and then let's duplicate it, and let's make it, let's unlock it and make it fatter. Oh, uh, I feel like I'm not gonna be able to create this shape well. Maybe we could do, let's see, how wide is this? This is 
2.681. Okay, so let's make that um, 2.681. Oops. Okay, and so uh, what am I doing? Okay, let's Let's smush this to one inch and see what it looks like. So this is kind of the bottom that we want. So we can grab the two, right? And we can align it um, left. So, okay. Um, let's scooch this up a little bit. Okay, so we can do this. We could slice it and kind of get a general, let's see what we get here. Oh, I know how I feel about this, oops. Let's remove some of this stuff, okay. So let's contour and get rid of the bottom. And then we're gonna add in this bottom. It's not really the shape yet. <laughs> Let's center it, uh, align and center horizontally. Okay, and then weld it. And then let's see if now, now that we have this general shape, can we unlock it and make it more, oh well, yeah, not bad, right? It kind of looks like that now. Okay, okay, so we have our shapes. We've got this one, we've got this one. Oh man, all right. <laughs> and then this looks like just two circles on top of each other, right? So let's do that. Um, that's that one, and then we'll duplicate it. So it sort of looks like a sh wider circle at the bottom, like that. Okay. And then let's grab the two circles and we're going to align it so it's centered horizontally and then we're going to weld it. All right, so I feel like we've got our two shapes, although this, this is too long, but that's okay. Um, you can change that. <laughs> All right, so we've got this shape, this shape. Here's our strawberry shape, which I like. I will get rid of this just so that it's not cluttered there. Okay, on this one, all we want though is we want a solid shape, right? So we wanna to go to contour, <clears throat> excuse me, and we're gonna hide all. So here is our strawberry shape, right? Now, let's look at Poppy for a second. We're gonna need her a few times. Um, actually, let's slice this off right here so that we have just the top portion. So let's grab our square. And since we're slicing off the top, we need to make sure that wherever we stop our bottom, like right here, it's completely covered in this square. Okay, so now we're gonna grab the two items and we're gonna slice, and that's gonna leave us with the top of her hair, like this, right? I mean, look how cute that is. So, okay, so this we can get rid of. This we're gonna need three copies total. So let's work on our strawberry first because that looks like the easiest one, okay? So here is, we gotta make this bigger to fit kind of like this shape. I mean, look at that. That's kind of so perfect, right? Okay, so now we're gonna weld this guy. This is our background, okay? So everything's gonna sit on top of this. Now we're gonna add in some layers, okay? Um, let's move these over. Let's work on this one first. So the first thing is I like these little dots. Well, let's, these are like, to me, they're like waves. So let's go to images and see if we have hopefully some shapes here that we can use easily. Um, this looks good, right? Oh, this, this right here. Let's insert that one. and I ended up inserting both, but that's okay. Um, okay, so let's go to contour. I only need one of them, so I'm gonna get rid of this one, the shorter one. And so here's our long one, and look, 
Look at that. It looks just like the strawberry. <laughs> okay. So. Right? That looks good. Actually, you can make it longer so that it goes across here, okay? So what you want to do is first, um, let's assume we like this size. No, let's, hold on. Let's grab these two. Let's make it 11 and a half inches because that's as big as we can go, right? Without having to slice up different things. So her background's going to be 11 and a half inches, this one ornament, okay? So let me... Um, zoom out for a second so that we don't have to do that okay so we've got that so let's make um a copy of the background because this you will always need one shape so that you can layer everything on top it's much easier that way okay all right so now we're working with this let's slice this up okay so in this one, we want the top half and the bottom half, right? So we want it in two, so let's duplicate it. Go to contour, and we're gonna get rid of the top on this one. And look, here's our bottom layer, right? Let's make it a different color so that we can see it. So here's our bottom layer. I probably should have cut this a little bit lower, but that's okay. And actually, we can use this layer as another color right this we can get rid of we don't need that this one we want the top half so let's contour that and let's get rid of the bottom and we'll make that a different color <clears throat> okay that looks pretty stinking cute <laughs> all right they have little dots right little holes that's easy peasy let's bring in some circles And let's see how big do we want that. So we're kind of eyeballing everything, right? Um, let's do two circles. Okay, so we want one here, duplicate. Okay, now we have the two. They're both of the same size. But what you want to do is you want to grab both circles and you want to go to align and you want to center them vertically so that we know that they're completely parallel, okay? Um, and you'll probably, you know what, it'll be easier to slice it out of your purple so that you have a spot for it. Or if you don't slice it out and it's just another color that you're putting on, then we don't even need to do this. Actually, that might be better because then you can add the layers. You can make your circle put a foam, uh, foam sticker or foam tape underneath so that your circles pop up. All your layers can kind of pop out. That would look really good. So actually, let's do that. So that is going to be blue let's say that looks pretty cute right so you can kind of see how I mean that's really this it's just a different color um, but it's literally this whole thing I think that's pretty cool <laughs> if I don't see so myself um, okay this one if you want to do it exactly like that and you want leaves let's go to images And let's see if we can find some cute little leaves that we can easily add on. Um, I kind of like this one because it's connected. So let's click on that one. We don't need this third leaf up here, so that will be easy. Um, see, it kind of to me, you can do something like this, but you, you get the idea, right? So on this one, let's go to contour. We want to get rid of this top leaf oops I didn't get rid of it let's go to contour <clears throat> there now I got rid of it okay so we're left with this oh and actually we want to we want to make it solid right Oops, <laughs> contour, come on, work with me here, there we go. So you either select it for it to be hidden or to show. So right now everything was showing, so we were selecting things to hide it. All right, so here's our green leaves. I'm gonna make them green. 
okay and then this one you gotta do different layers this has a lot of layers if you want to do it that way um let's look for i feel like um hmm. let's look let's look up borders and see all the different types of borders that we may use that might help us um like this is kind of cute you can have that coming in maybe what other border would work these aren't curved though but we can bring it in and see um this one might be cute um i know i'm looking sorry i got um I don't want to do just those two um you know what i kind of like this one because it has a border like an outline so let's bring that one in and see and then maybe this one okay let's insert all of those and see what we have so i might not do the third shape but you can kind of get a feel for what we're doing right um, so let's get rid of this. Oops, hold on. Let's move this down. Let's get rid of this one. We may use this one again, but make it smaller. Right? That might be good right here. Um, I kind of like this one because it has the two layers. Oh, it actually has three layers. So you can really make an intricate one with three layers going across. Um, we can add this one as well. Okay, so let's first, let's resize this guy real quick. Okay, so we're going to, we want all of this to be 12 and a half, um, 11 and a half inches. Okay, so here's our 11 and a half inches. Um, Let's create our background first. So we're gonna duplicate these leaves because if you want the leaves to be green or whatever color, you can duplicate them here. But we want our solid background, right? Um, and we can align this better. So let's go to align and center it. Oh, I picked the wrong one. Center horizontally, hold on. Let's grab these two. Oh, okay. There, so that's even, let's weld it so that we have our solid black background, okay? So this is our background. We're gonna duplicate it because we want that solid background no matter what. This one we're gonna use to kind of slice things up, right? So we have the, let me move this all the way to the back. Arrange, send to the back. Okay, so we've got our leaves up here. And then I thought this was kind of cute. You make this smaller so this will give you like all the layers that you want um so we want to connect these two like this okay and so watch this we're going to grab these two and slice so this can be a color right so we'll put it over here this can be a color um I guess we can move our leaves over. Let's move, let's move this down for a second. And arrange, send to the back, just so that all our layers will sit on top like it would in person. So our leaves go there. Um, oops, why did it do that? I wanna grab this guy right here. And it's not letting me. Let me move my strawberry over. Okay. It's a little frozen. All right, so let's see. Why is it not grabbing this? Okay, it's grabbing that. Weird, it won't grab this piece. Okay, but we can use it from here, so it's not a big deal. What is going on with my life right now? 
<laughs> why is it not picking that up? That's ridiculous. Okay, this one, what we can do is let's duplicate this and watch this. So this one, we're going to contour and we're going to get rid of the bottom, okay? And that leaves the top, which we can make this, I don't know, red or your pattern cardstock or something, okay? So the leaves can go on top, arrange send to the front, okay? These will go behind and you'll have that. This one, it is not letting me pick it up for some reason. I, okay, interesting. So this one, let's see if it gives me a color. This one, it lets me pick up, okay? Um, oops, let's make that a brighter color so we can see it. So you see, we're kind of like making our way through this. Okay, this, now we can contour. We've gotten all the top pieces, right? So let's hide all, and it's gonna leave us the bottom. So now the bottom, we can still work with, what is going on with my design space? Why is it doing that? Let's, okay, there. Okay, now it's, there's my piece, okay. Um, I don't know why it did that. Okay, um, let's say you like this little dealy bob, but we don't want the word friend, right? So let's contour, and we're just gonna hide all, and it's gonna fill up all the bubbles inside, all the cu cutouts. So now we have this perfectly shaped Let's arrange send to the front so we can kind of see it. And let's say you want it down here. Let's make this a little bit smaller. But you can see you can bring in all these different designs. And okay, so now we have this down here, which looks good to me. Let's grab the two. And oh my gosh, my design space is going crazy right now. It's not grabbing, but I would grab the two and slice. Then you have this middle piece that can be a color. You have the bottom, you can separate the top and the bottom so that you can separate that into different colors too. And I'm sorry, I feel like Design Space is telling me let's end this tutorial, but hopefully, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hopefully you got enough of like how to do it with the strawberry shaped one. All the others are the same thing. You wanna bring in things that you can slice out so that we can cut them into little pieces so you can have different portions of different glitter cardstock that would look really, really pretty and really part of the theme. So, all right, let me know what you think. Hopefully you can make it. I can't wait to see the results. And then for everyone else that's watching, hopefully you guys learned from that. But really, it's to let you know, like I'm here for your projects, for your questions. So let me know what you think. And if you have any problems, I'm here. All right, bye guys.